and let's say there's this new Pokemon region never before seen in the mainline Pokemon games, and they are building their first ever Pokemon League, like Alola did in Sun and Moon. The region is not very populated and lacks strong trainers among the locals, so they're forming this league in an attempt to attract strong trainers, along with tourism and immigration in general. Since the region doesn't have its own strong trainers, they have hired you, a world-renowned Pokemon trainer from another region, to come over and be this new league's first champion. They're paying handsomely for it, so they've also agreed to let you select the Elite Four that will be working under you, offering them competitive enough salaries to attract them away from their current positions. New stipulation is that you cannot hire any current or former champions. The hiring budget is great, but it's not great enough to pay for two different champions. So in this situation, who would you hire as your Elite Four? Let me know down in the comments below, but for the rest of this video, I'll be figuring out my own answer to this question. The first step is narrowing down the pool to just the most qualified candidates, and then I can select the top four from there. The most significant group of possible candidates are existing Elite Four members. So let's go through them first to see which ones would work and which ones would not. First is Lorelei, an ice specialist. Despite her notoriety and professionalism, I have my concerns. She claims to be an ice specialist while really being just as much of a water specialist in most of her teams, plus ice is usually not a difficult type to overcome, and I want my Elite Four to be legit. Additionally, she is no longer an Elite Four member in the Johto games, making me worried she would not be interested in returning to such a position. She's not eliminated outright, but I have my doubts. Bruno is a strong, powerful man, and the only Indian Elite Four member to keep his position from the Kanto games to the Johto games. But he's a buffoon. He's a fighting specialist, yet almost all his teams have at least one Onyx. You know, that giant rock snake with a lower attack stat than Pantalock. I cannot hire someone who would make such illogical and terrible team composition decisions. He's all brawn, no brains, he's out. Agatha is also out. It's always bothered me that she claims to be a ghost specialist when she's clearly a poison specialist. Plus, she isn't an Elite Four member in the Johto games, indicating that she's retired. Well, I suppose she could also be dead. Either way, she's probably not available. And even if she was, I'm not really interested. Lance was an Elite Four member, but most recently he's a champion, meaning he is too expensive. Will is an interesting character. His initial team has two Zatus, which I don't love, but his team improves for the rematch. I'm not fully opposed to hiring him, but I am uncertain whether his eccentricities would increase interest in the league or deter it. Koga is a solid candidate. He has proven continued dedication to growing stronger despite his age, as evidenced from his ascension from gym leader to Elite Four member. However, he seems really into using bug types, which, like, is not what he's supposed to be doing, and frankly, I don't recommend it. Next is Karen, who is an instant hire! I've said before, she is the only Karen that I would let speak to my manager, and I'm my own manager, so there you go. Although, I suppose in this scenario, I would be her manager. Thus causing a power imbalance that kind of precludes us from a healthy relationship. And also, what HR say? Okay, maybe not an instant hire. Also, do any of you typing, like, don't you have a girlfriend? None of this is real. And besides, she likes Karen too. <laughs> Ignoring all that, Karen is a strong candidate. I like her style and convictions, and while I don't love her usage of a Gengar and Vileplume, she ends up having a fully dark team. Although, she really should be using a Tyranitar. That's gonna be a stipulation of hiring her. Sydney is a solidly strong trainer who consistently uses a wide variety of Pokemon of his type, which I like. However, don't really love the way he looks at me. It's, uh, not giving off the best vibes. Phoebe is a great candidate. While she's forced into using repeats through the limited Hell and Ghost selection, she expands in a great way for her Oris rematch team. Plus, she's young and therefore part of the demographic that is most likely to be willing to move to another country for a job. She doesn't have any kids to worry about. I'm pretty sure. Galatia is not that appealing to me. Her decision to be an ice specialist in Helen is not one I understand, as evidenced by her copy and paste teams. Plus, even her rematch team is half pure ice types and thus not very difficult to handle. Even if her battling didn't have issues, she's already moved once to become an Elite Four member, doing so to the Helen region, so I doubt she'd be interested in doing so again. But even though I won't be offering her the job, we must respect her use of Hail, because Hail yeah, new Hail yeah merch available at MJTMerch.com. For a limited time, we got this cool embroidered hoodie, we got a t shirt, a little mighty poke out of the pocket, and unrelated to Hail, but still cute is the new Wildfire Mighty Plush, which is also available. Limited time, MJTMerch.com. Drake is great. Dragons are powerful, and I love that he uses Salamence and later Mega Salamence, meaning he's willing to use some of the most powerful Pokemon. I worry that his age might make him less interested in moving so far for a job, but he is a sailor, so maybe he'd be down for another adventure. Although, I haven't really fleshed out the climate of this region. It's gotta have at least one coast, right? Probably. Aaron is a hard no. I'm sorry, but if you use a Pewdiefly or Dustox as an Elite Four member, I cannot take you seriously. Bertha is a strong trainer using the strong grounds type, but I have my concerns about how many Pokemon she uses with four times weaknesses. Three fits of her platinum team, where I consider to be her definitive team of four times weaknesses. Plus, she's older and clearly not a sailor.